Ahmad is a guy from Serbia. Wind up at Alabama State. Well, it's a big opportunity for guys like me, like athletes, tennis players particularly, to go to the United States. And uh, a lot of people try to do that. So my coach got in contact with Coach Christian from ASU, and I ended up here. Obviously, you don't know anything about the school when you make that. I guess you probably go online and try to figure, you know, try to find some stuff out. But I'm just wondering, uh, what kind of research or what kind of homework do you do to to figure out whether it's the best fit for you or not before you accept that scholarship? Well, like before this? I accepted the scholarship, I've done some research on the coach. I saw that he was very successful at some bigger schools before this one. So that's kind of what mattered to me the most because I knew from advice of other older players in Serbia that if you have a good tennis coach, that's how everything begins. So I figured that that was, that was the main thing that I was looking for. And I quite like the, the surrounding is a lot different than one in Serbia and I've done research on Alabama before I came in. But it's a lot more quiet than, say, Belgrade, the place where I live in. But I figured it's also good for me, in a way, because I won't be distracted that much, so I figured it was a good decision. Now, me not having been there, you got me a little bit of a disadvantage. What's this like? Much smaller town? Or? No, it's actually a lot bigger. Is it? Belgrade in Serbia has almost 2 million people, and it's a lot of people, not only in Serbia, but in Europe, call it the capital of nightlife in Europe. So it's a lot more wild than you could say entertaining, and also I've lived there all my life, I know half the city. So this is all a completely new experience, a completely new surrounding for me, but I like it so far. What's the hardest adjustment? For, for Thinking back to last year when you were a freshman, I, I imagine the food's probably a lot different and stuff too. Yeah, well, a lot of things are different. I wouldn't pick anything out to be particularly difficult. But everything, starting with the language, I, I started learning English when I was young, so I didn't have problems with that. But the language, the people, the surroundings, how certain things work, the administrations, everything is totally different than what I've experienced back home. But I wouldn't go as far as saying something in particular has been the most difficult for me to you know, adapt. You're in business Yes, still. I'm a business what, major. you majoring in what, Yeah, business? right now I'm majoring in business management, yeah. but... Still all business majors for the first, I think, three semesters or four even have the same classes. So I'll have time to reconsider and probably change to maybe accounting or CIS. Um, and Coach was sitting there talking about your, uh, you did really well uh, on nationwide on, on business tests and everything. I was just wondering, uh, did that... Did, did you, uh, that, that's, that's, uh, you're better adjusted than you thought you were, probably. Yeah, honestly, I was a bit surprised, because, uh, they told us a few days before we, we, have, we have taken the test, it's a test that is not graded, so it wasn't even mandatory for us to come and take it, and it's a te and it's called the MAPP test, and it's taken nationwide by business students, so that, that's what they told me. So, honestly, on that day, I barely got out of bed and went to take the test, and I was reconsidering where I, where I should even go. And when I finished the test, I mean, I didn't find it particularly hard at all. I mean, I just went question by question, and it didn't take me long either. And I scored 498, and it did not say what the maximum score was. So I asked the teacher, I mean, how did I do this bad? And she said, no, that is two points off the maximum score. I've never seen this before. And I said, well, I, I guess that's good. And a couple of days later, I got a phone call from one of the senior teachers in the College of Business, and they told me that it was the best ever score by an ASU student, so they wanted to meet me. And how many questions were there, do you know? On the test? Yeah. Uh, not too many, I think probably um, less than 50. Like, let's say 50, give or take 10, but there wasn't too many. So you feel really two. bad that you missed that part of one or whatever that cost you those two points? Yeah, it was, it was probably just one question out of all of them. That's not bad, but maybe you got to wake up real late and not, before you go to class every day. Yeah. <laughs> um, as far as just the last season, um, what was that like, getting adjusted to playing Division One tennis at the SWAC level? And yeah. Well, it was hard for me at the beginning because last year I had a, quite a long injury which kept me out for a while. I missed a lot of tournaments in Serbia. So when I came in January, I 
did not play matches for quite a while, more than six, seven months. And that always, you know, you take, it takes time for you to, to adapt, to adjust to the new style of play, especially, you know, in Serbia we only play on clay courts, which are much slower. And here we play on hard. And you see different players, different styles from different countries. And in Serbia I've been playing for years. I pretty much know every single player that plays tennis from 15 to 35 years old. So in the beginning it was a bit difficult. I lost my first four matches. But my coaches helped me out a lot. They just told me to keep going. Don't don't think about the score. Just play my own game because they believed in me. And after four matches, the fifth one I won. And after that it just clicked on me. Clicked in me and it just kept going and going. And I think I had a very good streak at one point. Maybe won five or six in a row. But during all that right, right, I guess in the middle of all that, then you lose your mother. Yeah, that was near the end of the season. It was April the 6th. I was kind of lucky that we did not have many matches to go. It was we had maybe, I think we had two matches in the season, and we had another. We had the swag tournament, so that honestly was the most difficult part of all. You know, giving my best on the court, which I was not able to. But you know, I, I was I wasn't put under any pressure. The coaches just tell me to you know play my own game, don't care about the result, no matter what happens. I I think I actually managed to win one or two matches, even though after that happened. So it was it was very difficult. I won't lie to you. But yeah, I mean I can't even imagine. I mean you're here, she's there. I mean there's got to be. Yeah, it was it was tough because also my dad was on a business trip in China, so we were all on different corners of the world where that happened, and it was very hard. I contemplated going to the funeral. My coaches advised me to go, and I just spoke to my dad. He told me you know what I expected him to tell me, and just stay there, stay here, get on with it. You know, it might sound like a movie cliche, but at that point you think, what would she want you to do? And this whole America story, that's what she wanted more than anything for the last couple of years. So I just stayed on, done decently well in tennis, done well in school, so I'm happy I stayed.